gonna start out with using the Morphe 35B palette again. <laughs> Sorry I always use this palette, but it's the bomb. Um, so I'm taking the red shade and I'm really just blending using a fluffy blending brush from Morphe and I'm um, really just blowing this color out. Um, I'm just blending it out first and then that's when I start to pull the color outwards and I'm just making sure that it's really blended and um, I wanted to make this eyeshadow very dramatic so that's why I'm really blowing it up and bringing the color outwards and just building it up and I'm just blurring blending out the edges then I'm taking the NYX glitter primer and this is the adhesive for the glitter from NYX as well it's in the shade or color red and I'm just packing that on my lid I'm doing a half glitter cut crease and the setting powder under my eyes is to catch the glitter fallout so that's a tip if you want to make sure that the glitter or eyeshadow does not fall on your face, um, you just put setting powder under your eyes so it will catch all of that fallout. Then I am taking the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette because I want to make this a little more darker and a little bit more um, vampy and Halloweenish. So I'm taking that dark red shade from the Jaclyn and Morphe um, palette, and I'm just putting that in the outer corner and it's really like building it up and smoking it out, just to give the red um, make it darker and more dimension and more in depth. Then I'm just taking a bigger fluffy brush to. Um, really like blend out the edges so it's not so harsh and I use that same dark red shade from the Jaclyn Hill palette and I put that on my lower lash line and I love the eyes that eyeshadow is popping and then I'm taking like a shimmer shade from the same palette to put in my inner corner. And then I am taking the NYX liner um, to start the drawing of the voodoo doll. And for my nose, I just drew a circle. I suck so bad at drawing circles. Um, so just don't mind my circles. And then I took the Tardiest Pro Palette, a little brown shade in there just to fill in the nose area. And then I took some white concealer, the Makeup Revolution Concealer in C1. And I just, just to make the, the circle white, I drew another circle inside of it. And now I am starting on um, the little... <laughs> this is where it's supposed to look like stuffing is coming out like the side of my face so I'm just drawing that little shape on the side of my cheeks first and I'm using a shade I think this shade is from the it's from the tardiest pro palette it's a dark shade yes yeah, I think it's called punk and I'm just outlining the shade um, the shape of the side of my face is going to look like it is being cut open and it's stuffing inside. Then I'm filling in the stuffing with a white shade from the Tardiest Pro palette. Then I'm taking the Modern Renaissance, <laughs> Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm just shading that in. And now for more fun stuff, I'm starting the little, I don't even, the little scar or the little, I don't even know what this stuff is called, <laughs> but, um, 
I'm starting so we can start with the stitches on my face. Um, I'm just drawing the little dots. These are going to be connecting towards each other. But I don't really know how to explain this. I feel like it would just be better if you were just to watch it rather than to listen to me try to explain it. But these are basically, this is basically just the stitch. The stitches that are going to be on my face. Now I am taking the duo glue and I am just putting them on the dots so this will act as an adhesive for the jute cord and I'm using the jute cord to make my stitches and I'm just placing them down crisscross. So you can use tweezers if you like. I just use my hand just because it was just kind of quicker but I did start using tweezers towards the mouth area it was actually quicker for me to use my hands just because I was pressed for time you guys this tutorial these Halloween looks gave me hell this one especially um, my camera was not working. If you've been following me, then you know that my camera is so bougie and it gets hot after <laughs> like 20 minutes of recording and then um, I have to wait for it to cool down. But it just really would not work for this tutorial, which is why I do not have as many Halloween looks as I anticipated just because... Um, of all the technical issues, my camera, I need a new memory card, my computer, my MacBook is out of memory, my phone was out of memory. I was trying to make space so I can continue to record on my camera and it was out of um, memory so I had to like do all this stuff to try to like move the videos that I had already recorded to my phone and it was just a mess. And um, I plan on getting a new camera very soon so I can continue with YouTube. But for now, um, I just cannot continue to try to film with that camera. And it just isn't working any anymore. So I'm really sorry if you wanted to see more Halloween looks. But next year, it's up. Next year, it'll be much better. Like more looks than just two. So, that's what happened and literally the power went off so this is this I was up till 5 in the morning recording this makeup um, for the beauty doll the power randomly went out like it was no bad weather it was nothing it just randomly went out and it was out for like four hours so my makeup is start I started of course getting oily and it started to get a little crusty towards the end, but I ended up making it work. So, yes, just now I went through so much to get this look finished and to have it filmed.
side of my face for that little stuffing part I made the um, the cord shorter than the regular pieces just so it make it it makes it look like it was busted open like um, this is the stuffing is coming out the cord the stitches like are broken so that's why I made them very really smaller Ugh. I cannot talk today. This is why I made them smaller than the normal pieces. starting with the neck piece and I'm taking the same brown shade from Anastasia Beverly Hills starting it off with brown and then I go in with the black just to give it a little bit more dimension and more depth and these are literally the same steps over and over and I'm just putting the black dots on the ends of the cords of the stitches and it's really starting to come together i got the voodoo for you bitches <laughs> um if you know where that's from then you're an og like you're an og comment below if you know where that's from i really wanted to be a voodoo doll last year um, but I just did not have time to do um, all of those looks. So I was really excited to do the Voodoo doll this year. A lot of people on my other social media, like Instagram, I asked them to send me ideas. If you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram because I do ask a lot of questions like what y'all want to see on my channel on Instagram and a lot of people were asking me to do like a doll like Annabelle doll, Chucky doll it was just a lot of doll requests excuse my phone uh, it's a hotline right now now I'm taking the Kylie Cosmetics liquid lipstick in Mary Jo K to create my heart it is going to be on the opposite side when you see the final look because this heart was just not it for me. But um, I just fill in the heart and outline it with the black um, liquid liner. And that is the liquid latex so I can stick the needle through. Just a few layers of the liquid latex. <laughs> And this is the final look. I love it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this Halloween tutorial for the Voodoo doll. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you loved it. And I will see you guys next time. Mwah.